It's got a little stick to it. It, it does take some getting used to. Franklin pounds it into the grass. A roller Eat picked it. up by Dallas, and he's got no play. And he yanks it down the line. Franklin on his way to third. Masters slides after it in the corner. They're going to send Franklin home. The relay is late, and Michigan strikes first. Sharp with three days off offensively, but the swinging bump by Franklin gets him on, and Jimmy Kerr continues a storybook ending to his career. It was a two RBI triple in game one that got him going, and now the RBI double to get him on the board here in the first. Franklin speed shows up, and the Wolverines off to a quick start. Dad Derek was here in the early 80s with the last Michigan team to make it to Omaha. Grandpa John won a national title, and they must be fired up as well for Jim. Kind of hit the reset button. Your team comes out and puts a run up. And this one is laced to left. It'll drop in front of Wilson. Kerr coming home. That throw is close, but Nelson will now take second. And Michigan has opened up a 2-0 lead. They are fired up, pulling the rope here in the early inning. Well, you wondered, you wondered how the offense would respond after three days off, right? Yeah, well, Mike Dallas, Ben, the, the recipe was to get the ball down and on the edges, and that one's hanging, another hanging burger. I want you to watch Kurt Wilson. So this is a man with one home run, Blake Nelson, one home run. Kurt Nelson playing really deep out there in left field, and no matter how strong your arm is, that is a really tough play, and you just wonder why Kurt Wilson's playing so deep with a, mm. with, a, with a guy up to bat who only has one home run on the season. Now you're down two on a ball that he probably. Sharply hit right side and through. Warren will be waved home. The throw from Brewer is a laser. And he's safe. What a slide by Cameron Warren to just get under the tag. My goodness, does Jordan Brewer have it on? Yeah, he can't believe it. The big fella out racing the cannon from Jordan Brewer. We talked about how talented the Big Ten player of the year is showing his arm strength on that play right there. You felt like this was a big inning for the Red Raiders. Look at him get inside of this running two-seam fastball and just kind of punch it past Jimmy Kerr. Just, just enough to get past Jimmy Kerr. And then the big fella, Cam Warren, who we've seen run around the bases some this week. Gets in ahead with a foot first slide, Ben. That's that's unique. We haven't seen many of those. A really nice <laughs> slide right there by the big fella. 6'3, 240. He's like, look at me. Look at my wheels. And from unexpected sources. Fulford drops oh. down the button. Here comes a run and a late shuffle. Everybody's safe. The squeeze pays off, and Fulford, the best butter for the Red Raiders, gives him a two, two tie. Well, I think Kyle Kaufman thought the right thought at first. But just enough of a hesitation. Instead of flipping it home when he first thought about it, he had a chance. But once he hesitated, didn't flip it, looked towards first base, and then tried to flip it back to the catcher, Donovan, it was too late. Watch his initial thought. Always go with your first thought. He comes in, he catches the ball, he's got a chance right there. He thinks about it, looks away, and then goes back to it, and it's just too late by then. you got to be convicted, right? As soon as that ball's in the air, you got to turn those shoulders and right there, the bobble, the, the, the kind of soft backhand feed, no chance. Credit Tim Tadlock for keeping it on. Fulford with a great job of pushing that ball up the first base side, which is a really tough play for a right-handed pitcher to make. And I think that's why he never got squared around on it. Two walks today. This one punched out to left field. Baker around third. Texas Tech will take the lead. Second most come from behind wins this season in all of Division I. And the Little Red Raiders are fired up. Well, it's starting to look like it's the Red Raiders afternoon. How about a check swing, folks? A check swing RBI single, and he's trying to shut it down. He's trying to shut the swing down. He had gone too far. He hits it well enough to. The other one is, you know what? I'm fixing to show you a little something. Line drive. 
It gets down. Blomgren's coming home. Why throw a pitch in that situation if you're waiting to go to the pin? That's a puzzle right there. It's obvious that you're stalling to get the next guy in, and I know you got ahead, but not only did you get ahead, and it looks like you're stalling, but you, you go with a heater. I mean, right down Broadway. Okay, Thomas is ready for it. And for the second start in a row against Michigan, Micah Dallas just doesn't have it. And that, to me, is a tactical error by Texas Tech. I don't even know why you would challenge right there. Well, that's what got him in trouble last time, is his pitches just like that. As a go, you come back with one for a strike, and that one was a really good one. To look. Ooh, ooh. Got him on the elbow, looked like. And so one forced in on the hit batter after John McMillan had the advantage against the Big Ten Player of the Year. Well, McMillan's throwing hard, there's no doubt about that, but he's missing some spots, too. Looked like trying to get that ball more down and away. You can see where Fulford was set up was down and away. This ball runs up and in. Time and hit him. And that is just giant for McMillan. He has had to work, and that one gets into left field. One run home. Here comes a Kale Thomas. He'll score. Wogu will be stopped at third. It's a two run double for Jesse Franklin. And the Wolverines have a 6 3 lead. Man, oh man, oh man, this Michigan team just continues to battle and extend this lead. It wastes another breaking ball and finally gets a heater right down Broadway. And John McMillan continues to struggle here in the third. There's still nobody hot in the Texas Tech bullpen and Michigan with a big inning. Now they've scored two and out at this one. Chase it, but the ball got all the way back to the backstop. Michigan will get one run home. The breaking ball in the dirt scores a run for the Wolverines with Blake Nelson scrambling home on the wild pitch. Well, I tell you. Braxton Fulford's had some struggles from time to time behind the plate and throwing a little bit as well. And you got to be able to spin your break ball. When you're trying to get out of a big inning, you got to be able to spin it. But I'd like to see him slide over, get to a knee, and block that ball up. May not catch it, but at least you try to keep it in front. Watch him go for the backhand and right there, off the heel of the glove, back to the backstop. And Michigan now has scored in all four innings, two in the field. That too. There's ball four, a bases loaded walk. Another two out run scored by Michigan. He's a big chess player, but not in the traditional sense anymore. That one banged through. One run will come home. Here comes the second. Wogu trying to stretch it for two. He's in, and Michigan's lead grows. He plays chess on his app, on his phone, and with the win here today, he can have two days of working on all of his moves. Well, he's making the right moves right now. At yeah. the plate, no doubt about that. You know, we haven't really seen him get the head to, to the fastball all that often, but he finally got a chance in a 3-1 count to kind of let it rip, and the, the bat head gets out in front, and this is a rocket shot, a ball that hits on the infield dirt just past the shortstop Josh Young. Look at this ball bounces just past Josh Young, yet it has so much exit below that it gets deep into that left center field gap. Hey, hey. And Wogu speaking. This in their 27th all-time game. Ground ball right side, smothered by Klein. Coming home with it, picked up by Heyman, and the throw there gets away. They would have had Wogu dead to rights, it seems, and Heyman cut it off. Well, Jesse Franklin, to me, continues to impress. You see him go get that fastball? Not only was it in, it was up and in, too. How do you get the barrel? Watch the barrel. Watch him get the barrel. This ball up and in. And I mean, just quick hands fights it through. And why Haven is standing in the middle, I don't know why he's standing there. He should be backing up home plate just in case. But instead, this part, this is going to be an out at home plate. Pretty good throw right here, but Haven cuts it. It was in direct line to the. Is they oh, sent a high oh. drive off the bat of Jimmy Corr turned towards the pan, and that's off the back wall. Third hit of the game for Kerr.
two home runs his first two seasons. He's got a Baker's dozen this year. Jim and Dad Kirk. loving it. Wow, how about have yourself a weak young man? We've seen RBI triple, we've seen an RBI double. Now about how about a bomb into the right field bullpen, and that's controlling the barrel on a fastball up in the zone. Hunting the heater, gets it, and does not disappoint. We've talked about the transition this young man has made from a walk-on who had very little power to now all of a sudden a cleanup hitter. And we've all had that moment. And it is no fun when you realize that's it. Another bases loaded walk issued. This one will give Wogu his third RBI of the game. College World Series, the senior leaving his mark. Needs a triple for the cycle. Wow. This one to the wall and over. Another home run for Kerr. Back to back Jacks. Jimmy Kerr put on a show, boys. He has done it in just about every game. How about that? 107 miles an hour off the bat, and watch this bat speed. Just a fastball center cutting again. Off a lefty the last time up, this time a right-hander, and this thing is melted out toward right center field. And Papa knows it right away. He's seen that many times before as he watched his son hit his second home run of the day fourth runs on 14 hits for Michigan only three pitchers used to this point and they finish with a K Jimmy Kerr with a couple of home runs for Michigan and the Wolverines are going to be playing for a national title starting Monday night. It's their first championship round appearance since 1962. Well, that was some kind of dominant performance by the Michigan Wolverines. It was a little shaky early. Didn't look like Carl Kaufman had his best stuff. We were curious to see if he was going to be able to make it into the middle innings. But as he was able to work out a jam, the offense just put the gas pedal down and ran away from Texas Tech. Big Ten player of the year, Jordan Brewer's got a 40-inch vert, and now he's got a chance to play for a tie.